quick tutorial to show how to take Slicer for Fusion 360 and use it to cut a model into triangles that can be later cut out of metal and welded into a full-size sculpture. Uh, you can get Slicer for Fusion 360 on the internet if you Google it. So once you have Slicer open, you can import your model. It should be an OBJ format is one of the best ones to use. And you can navigate this screen using your uh, middle mouse roller to zoom in and out. The right mouse button will turn it. And if you click on the roller as a button, you can then move it back and forth. So this is the model, and I'm going to turn this into uh, sheets of triangles. So the first thing um, I want to do is on construction technique, I'm going to hit select and I'm gonna say folded panels. Now this will make sort of an origami pattern, um, but that's not gonna be useful. So if you simply click on the little button here that says split panels, it will then turn it into triangles. Now there's a number of things that need to be set. As you can see, it's lost a lot of resolution. One is that it's trying to create a four inch high bear here and put it on eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, which is not what we want. So the first thing we need to do is set the size of our material that we'll be using to cut, in other words, the metal sheets. So I'm gonna assume these are four by eight foot metal sheets. So I'm gonna press the little uh, pencil tool here to customize to make my own sheet. So I click that, this is opened, and I'm gonna make a new, new material here, and I'll name it. Uh, I'll leave it unnamed zero for now. I guess I can change that. Um, my unit is inches, and I'm going to say that it's 48 inches, 4 feet, by 96 inches, 8 feet. Thickness doesn't really matter. Horizontal margin, none of that stuff matters. Um, oh, here, I, I just double-clicked it. Now I can name it. So I'm going to say um, 4 by 8 sheet kind of similar to what I've already got here, um, and say done. And so now I can use this drop-down menu here to pick my 4x8 sheet. It looks like it's still unnamed zero here. Um, there it is. Uh, so now it's a 4x8 sheet. The height of my bear, though, is still uh, 4 inches by 8 inches, and you can see now it just has a bunch of little tiny triangles on my 4x8 sheet. But let's say I want to have this bear to be full size, um, so I'm going to say it's, rather than 4.5 inches, I'm going to say it's 45 inches. That's probably pretty close to a, a, the height of a bear who's in this position. So I do that, um, and now it has uh, more sheets, more triangles. I've still lost resolution, though. To gain the resolution, if I want it full resolution, all I have to do is add, uh, add these vertex uh, count right here. I can put... Um, a really high number in it and it will cut it down to uh, the minimal number that it needs to make the full size bear in full resolution. So I'm going to put 500 and hit return and it's going to drop it down to 201 because that's all it actually needs to duplicate every part of the model because this is actually what the model looks like. And so now you see that it is almost five sheets, just has a little bit extra here. Um, and if I wanted to make, if I wanted to get rid of that extra sheet, I suppose I could make it, um, I don't know, 190. I still have some extra there. Uh, make it a 170. I'm trying to get rid of that last sheet. It's not really doing it. Um, I'll leave the last sheet. And uh, so that's ready to go. Now all I need to do is get the plans so I can cut this out and get these in the right format. And then I can still use Slicer if I wanna see um, how these look when they're put together. And of course, everything is numbered and you can see where things uh, get put together. So I'm gonna hit the Get Plans button here at the bottom. And so these are the sheets, five sheets, everything nice and numbered. My file types that I can use are EPS, PDF, and DXF, most likely, um, you'll be using DXF, I would imagine, if you're using a CNC uh, cutter. And so you just pick one of these and say, export to my computer. And that's it. You're done. You then have the plans. 
and you can drop this into whatever program you're using to cut these out and then use slicer to see how they fit together and of course everything is numbered so that's pretty much all you need to do